From Universal Studios Florida, it's WMAC Masters. Shannon Lee here at the WMAC Arena. We had what could be a major injury just moments ago in a preliminary match between two top WMAC Masters. It took place at the Doom City Battle Zone. Johnny Lee Smith, Tiger Claw, was scheduled to face longtime best friend Jamie Great Wolf Webster in a first round match. The one on one went on for a long time with neither athlete gaining position on the power bar. And then it happened at 3 minutes 46 seconds into the match. Winner by knockout, Great Wolf. Tiger Claw was knocked out cold following a surprise maneuver by Great Wolf. The move that took him down, a double inside crescent kick, an extremely difficult technique not usually seen in competition. They've moved Johnny Lee Smith back inside WMAC headquarters where doctors are working on him as we speak. We still haven't heard if he's gained consciousness as of yet. We'll keep you updated on Tiger Claw's condition as we get more information, but the competition will continue today. Jamie Webster will face the winner of our next match between Red Dragon and Tsunami. Plus, we have a Master Blaster performance by the Panther. It's all coming up on WMAC Masters. Do you vow to live your life by the code of the Dragon Star? I do. They're the world's greatest martial artists. Competing for the ultimate prize. Are you worthy of the Dragon Star? It's what I've trained for my entire life. The World Martial Arts Council presents WMAC Masters. Dr. Dr. Chief. You can't blame yourself for something like that. It just all happened so fast, Hakeem. I mean, I didn't mean to throw that kick. <laughs> I would never. Well, you gotta realize accidents happen. And competition's that high, <clears throat> man. You guys bring out the best in each other. Or the worst. I mean, it should have never happened. Don't worry about it, man. It's right. gonna be all right. Okay? Okay. Thanks, Hakeem. Still no word from the doctors on Tiger Claw's condition. While we wait, Eric Betts, the Panther, will demonstrate his awesome strength and control in an exhibition atop a bed of nails. 900 stainless steel nails, to be exact. Before the Grand Masters of the World Martial Arts Council, Eric Betts, the Panther, shall demonstrate his form, the Table of Terror. What you are about to witness is extremely dangerous. Do not attempt anything like this at home. I'm coming for you, Olympus. <laughs> One mistake and the Panther risks being punctured by the hundreds of razor-sharp nails just inches from his face. That's Eric Betts, the amazing Panther, surviving the Table of Terror, a bed of 900 nails. Now entering the World Martial Arts Council Arena, Guillermo Le Guen, key symbol, tsunami, martial arts discipline, Kung Fu.
preliminary match of the day. It'll feature the Camouflage Ninjas at the Mayan Mystery Battle Zone. Red Dragon takes on Tsunami in just a moment. Hey, Zom, Johnny okay? He's gonna be okay. He's just resting up. Any damage? Yeah. Our friendship. The athletes don't know where they'll compete until they emerge from the underground tunnels that connect the arena to the external battle zones. The referees are just making one final check of the protective gear that all WMAC Masters wear, and then the match will begin. Tsunami Dragon Belt Status Zero. This Kung Fu stylist is still looking for his first victory, but he's going to have a tough time today going up against Karate's number one competitor. Red Dragon Dragon Belt Status Eight. Camo Ninjas begin. The Camouflage Ninjas are all trainees at the WMAC Academy. They hope to one day compete for the Dragon Star themselves. The Council is scoring the match from inside the arena. Watch the power bars to see who's in the lead. Tsunami's on the left, Red Dragon's on the right. by both athletes cause their power bars to drop. Oh, good score by Red Dragon. He's way ahead, but the match is far from over. to capture his first victory. Red Dragons heading for the Battle Dome. Back here at the WMAC Arena, we just received information that Johnny Lee Smith, Tiger Claw, is going to be okay. He's gotten permission from doctors to walk around and he should be able to compete again as early as next week. I'm sure Jamie Webster is relieved to hear that good news as he prepares... Johnny Lee, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, Chris. It's not my head that hurts anymore. Being betrayed by your best friend is worse than any kick to the head or losing a fight. Wait a minute, what do you mean betrayed? Just because Jamie caught you with a nice technique, it was strategy that got you, man. Yeah, and you could have done the same to him. No! I would never have done that to him. Ever. Maybe I'd better explain. Jamie and I grew up together, went to school together, learned the martial arts together. We even got our first black belts together.
and I, we were best friends. Better than best friends. A little bit tighter. I don't want it to come off. Okay, Jamie. I'll show you this kick on one condition. Okay. You can never use it against me, and I'll never use this kick against you. Okay, we got a deal. Sure. Promise. Promise. Okay. That kick was bad. I loved it. Whenever I learned a new move, need to go on a diet. the first thing I did was Andrew. teach it to Jamie, and vice versa. Remember, as you execute the kick, slap the soles of your feet together. Okay. Awesome! <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Bow to me. Jamie and I, we shared everything all right, especially our competitive spirit. Whenever we entered a tournament, it usually ended up Jamie versus Johnny Lee in the finals. The tough part about competing against your best friend? We knew each other well, too well. Our matches usually wound up being a draw. On this particular day, I was lit hotter than a dog on a grill. I started putting some real cool combinations together. No way Jamie could count them. Maybe on this day the competition was getting too intense. I don't know. We both wanted it real bad. Then, it happened. Come on, let's go. I'll show you this kick on one condition. You can never use this kick against me, and I'll never use it against you. Promise. 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 Johnny, wait. Johnny! Wait for what? For you to hit me with another kick I taught you? Johnny, everything just happened so fast. I mean, after you knocked me down on the ground, I just did whatever I had to do to win. I mean, Johnny, you know how it is. We had a vow not to use that kick against each other. That's what I know. You're right. And I'm sorry, Johnny, I made a mistake. I mean, won't you just give me one more chance? Well, you know, it was excellent execution on that kick. That's just because I had a really good teacher. But understand something. I never want to see that kick coming my way again. It won't ever happen again, Johnny. Are you sure this time? I promise. I promise. I promise. Okay. So you see, the most important part about having a best friend is, is someone you can trust. No question. And Jamie broke this promise. Yes along with my skull. You're lucky you have a hard head, Johnny. Yeah, too hot, if you ask me. Jamie just made a mistake, Johnny Lee. He's so upset, I know he didn't do it intentionally. Yeah. Well, maybe you're right. But things between Jamie and I will never be the same. It's our final match of the day. Jamie Webster takes on Chris Casamassa. Who will add another key symbol to his dragon belt? Great Wolf or Red Dragon? The Battle Dome is coming down. When it hits ground zero, the match begins. Battle Dome Finals. Chris Casamasa, Red Dragon. Jamie Webster, Great Wolf. The rules are simple. The athletes must each try to force their opponent into the frame of the cage. You'll practically feel it yourself when someone hits the dome or even brushes up against it. 
The counts will keep score, and whoever's in the lead when time runs out, wins. Ninjas, penetrate the dome. Part of the steel frame is electrically sensitive. However, the ninja's clothing is specially treated so that they don't set off the dome sensors. The score is tied early in the match. If it remains a tie when the clock winds down, we go into sudden death. Time's running out for Great Wolf. Four, two. That's it! Chris Casamasa wins easily by a score of four to two. It seemed that Great Wolf was distracted during the match and was no match for Red Dragon. Hey look, Johnny, Jamie still really shaking up of all this. Yeah. Well, so am I. Wait a minute, man. You want to sacrifice a great friendship over one mistake? Friendship? Friends honor their word to each other and don't break promises. Honor. Remember? One of the points of the Dragon Star, Akeem. Hey, but what about forgiveness? What about it? I hope one day Jamie forgives you for the way you're acting. By order of the World Martial Arts Council, the key symbol of Great Wolf shall now be added to the Dragon Belt of today's winner, Red Dragon. Both athletes represent the martial arts discipline Karate. Here now, the ceremony of the Dragon Belt. Red Dragon adds a ninth key symbol to his Dragon Belt, tying him with Superstar and the Machine in the WMAC rankings. One more win and he can challenge Olympus for the Dragon Star. We saw today there's not always a right or wrong side to a disagreement. Sometimes there are simply two different points of view. What makes it right or wrong is how you deal with the conflict. It's right to keep calm, be reasonable, talk it out, and try to see the other person's side. It's definitely wrong to let any disagreement lead to violence. Peace over power. It's what the martial arts are all about. Thanks for purchasing the most exciting home video series ever, WMAC Masters. All the tapes in the series feature the world's greatest martial artists competing for the ultimate prize. Oh! Every dream starts with one small step. Every dream have the faith. So collect all the tapes in the home video series and live your life by the code of the Dragon Star.